I like to use the term Christ follower because a Christian can mean anything to people today. But a true follower of Jesus is one who aspires to be like him, to emulate his life. So therefore, you have to look to Jesus. What does he teach? What does he talk? Because our role in life is to learn to respond to life like he did, to learn to, to live our lives like he did. That's what it means to be a disciple of Jesus. Fixing our eyes on Jesus. Why? Because look at what he says, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. In other words, the one who gave us our faith and the one who is working to mature it and grow it and develop it in our lives. And now notice this, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Jesus' mission, his vision was clear. He knew that it meant going to the cross, but that was not the end of the journey. The end of the journey was to sit at the right hand of the Father. The end of the journey was to complete the will of the Father. And how could Jesus, because he was human like you and I, how could Jesus endure the cross? How could he go through something so painful, so hard? You and I have no idea because crucifixion that the Roman government uh, uh, did against people that they condemned that way was horrible. It was humiliating. Not only was it painful, it was absolute disgrace. It was shame. It was absolutely a, a, a way of, of, of basically dominating their enemies and intimidating everybody. How could Jesus, what does the scripture tell us? How did Jesus do it? For the joy set before him. See, Jesus didn't look at the circumstances that it would. He had his eye on the prize. He had his eye on where he was going. And you know what? Pleasing the Father, sitting at the right hand, was where he was heading, and he wasn't going to let anything get in the way. See, in other words, vision is not just what could be. Unless it's fueled by what should be, you give up. You let down. And no, Jesus continued on because he foresaw you and me. See, bringing many sons unto glory... There was a joy in his heart that let him get through. But joy was what gave him. The, the book of Nehemiah says the joy of the Lord is our strength.